Hey guys, just a quick observation that I thought some of you may get a kick out of. Um, as you know from a previous video of mine, 2023, I intend to make a year that I work on the other side of that foundation building equation, which is health and fitness. Being someone who comes from a background of being very active and in shape for the majority of my life, um, the last year or so, I've kind of fallen off that wagon. So I've kind of made it a pledge this year to not just fill my bags and watch them grow, but also uh, get back in shape, ultimately, so I can enjoy those bags more. You know, looking good in a suit is way better than not looking good in a suit. Having that clarity, that focus, that motivation, all of that good stuff um, only plays well into energy levels and all of that stuff. We all know the benefits of, of, of you know, the healthy side of things. Anyway, I digress. To cut a long story short, um, I play tennis once or twice a week. Um, I just played this morning. And, you know, it's usually a good time, actually, not just to be active, but to network too. The group I usually play with, um, sometimes they'll bring clients, they'll bring folks that, you know, are in town. And so, you know, it's great to meet new people, um, some interesting conversations. This morning was one of them. You know, there were three or four new people who um, who joined just for today in town for, for various reasons. And as we grabbed breakfast after playing, um, and I will, I will provide some context in that these guys seem to be very successful at what they do, you know, in their various industries. And it was very, very interesting to hear what their plan is, you know, financially speaking, um, right now as we go into what could potentially be a recession. And I was waiting, waiting to hear if part of their, part of their action plan, their strategy, um, you know, how, how crypto heavy that was. I know for a lot of us watching this, uh, it sounds like a silly question. It should be the majority, right? If you're doing your due diligence and investing in the right places, it is not. It was fantastic to hear. Some of you may be the same as me. When you're in groups that, you know, you talk a lot about crypto, you tend to lose track of the wider world and their limited view in this space. And I don't mean that in a, in a derogatory way. They simply are more interested or more experienced with other traditional financial avenues. Even, you know, very smart, intelligent, um, successful people. They, uh, it's, too, it's too new for them. It's too risky. It's too scammy. It's too, you know, all of those buzzwords that we've heard year after year. And I kind of fell in the trap of thinking those people were shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. And it kind of worried me. And I know this may seem strange to think, but it kind of worried me that going into the next bull market, we're not necessarily going to be in the same situation. We know that, you know, the rule of diminishing returns where, you know, if you use that, then common sense would dictate that each bull market will be less effective than the one before. We haven't necessarily seen that yet, but it's only a you know it's only a matter of time before that tipping point happens. And part of me fears, or used to fear, you know, especially over the last year or two, that um, that law of diminishing returns will come into effect as more and more people become more confident with crypto. They start seeing the benefits. A lot of the the fud and the scared kind of mentality um, would hopefully be transitioning to one of a bit more familiarity now. Um, wasn't the case today, and it was fantastic. Hearing a lot of people who seem to be very successful talking about what I deem to be very, very, um, you know, very outdated mentalities. You know, a lot of these guys have their own brokerages um, or brokerages they use, I'm sorry, or, uh, you know, I'm sure they're part of hedge funds and whether they know it or not, I'm sure that part of that fund will be allocated to crypto. But in terms of a retail investment, something that they are actually very much aware of, believe in, trust, and have made that decision to invest, not at all. Um, a lot of the typical buzzwords were thrown out in terms of, oh, you know, the FTX collapse and um, Gemini, and is that is that the end of crypto? And all of the words that in hindsight, you know, we're going to look back and think, this is a huge indicator that we are early still, that this is the exact right time to be investing right now. So it, it really backed up a lot of my mentality, but for many different reasons, you know, it backed up my, my motivation to continue investing. I would do that anyway, whether it's, you know, whether the returns are not necessarily going to be as monumental as the year before, they're still going to be fantastic. But hearing these guys talking about their limited kind of knowledge there, and again, kind of falling into that media manipulation to a certain extent, and, uh, and, and, and kind of being fudded out of joining this revolution. You know, they're not at the forefront of this stuff, which is, you know, expected, but even to be scared still, not, not be involved at all, have pulled their money from the market. You know, some of them dabbled, 
in it seems like anyway you know through through typical exchanges we all know you know not your keys not your crypto um these guys obviously were, were investing through coinbase and binance and all of those those exchanges that we wouldn't necessarily keep our funds on right now and even if we are kind of putting in fiat money to convert but anyway um hearing that the little bit that they had they pulled out also gives me more confidence that you know the bottom could be in if these are any indication of a wider market a wider audience segment let's say or demographic of people who share the same values share the same motivations well it's great um you know i'm sure they'll be manipulated the other way come you know a year's time where everyone's talking about how fantastic crypto is and they may they may roll the dice again um but they'll be rolling the dice buying at 100 200 to 1000 x what we bought at and selfishly I absolutely love that. Um, I did try to give uh, my two cents a little bit, but when you try to provide a little bit of enlightenment sometimes, and you you, you get that buffer, you kind of know not to push. And I, you know, there's no skin in the game for me to convince anyone at that table. Um, so I just kind of sat back and listened and nodded, you know, and, and all the while just appreciated that we are still early. We are still able to make some monumental gains here. And uh, I, and I hope you're taking from this the same thing that I am. I thought some of you, or many of you, especially watching this channel, would love to hear this. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's easy to get sucked into your own environment where everyone's talking about crypto and you kind of lose track about the people who are, you know, apart from parents and grandparents and whatnot. You know, sometimes you think that that level of ignorance um, that comes with, you know, someone who's a little bit afraid and, and isn't quite so educated on crypto has inherently, um, you know, you, you forget that exists. And so uh, I'm pumped that it still does exist. And I hope you guys are too. So uh, thank you for bearing with me. And I hope you this brought a little bit of a smile to your face like it did for me. Thank you.